So, this is my first ever YouTube short. Don't even know if this is a YouTube short or it counts as that. Just wanted to have a bit of a rant, as always, with YouTube. I'm sat here in my van in, what, 30 degree heat. But actually, it's not too bad because I'm nicely in the shade. A rant with YouTube, right? It's a problem. YouTube, social media, is not good for your mental health in any way, shape or form. I uploaded a video yesterday it has technically performed very badly because what YouTube does is compare it to your last 10 uploads, which means when the video went live, it ranked as number eight. Obviously, I've uploaded the video, I've seen that, and I thought, oh, fuck that, I feel shit. It makes, me, it makes you feel shit. You put a bit of effort and time into a video, you think you do a decent thumbnail, you think you put a good title and caption to get people to click on the video, and it performs absolutely crap. So my point with this is that YouTube as well as Instagram and all these social media apps, they are just not good for you because it is constant, constant comparisons, constant uh, competition, if you like, comparing your channel and videos to other channels who are getting more views, more subscribers. You then question yourself, why am I not getting the views? Why am I not getting the clicks? Why are my subscribers not going up? And uh, I don't think a lot of people show you this, that I've literally spent the last two, three hours doing thumbnail pictures, changing titles, changing thumbnails, changing words, and I'm just like, oh my God, is this literally what YouTube and content creation has come to, that you have to play the algorithm. You have to, I don't work for myself, I work for the YouTube algorithm. YouTube, trust me, is not a dream job whatsoever. I don't even know if I'm going to upload this video. This might just be a rant for me to get things out of my head because it's driving me mad. Every YouTube title, every YouTube thumbnail has to have some sort of drama, has to have some sort of emphasis of sadness or drama. It's the only word that I can think. You have to do things to get people to click on a video, to create clickbait, to create some reason for somebody to go, eh, I want to click on that video and watch it. And I find it so inauthentic, so fake and false. Personally to myself, this is something I felt for a while. Um, and I have no idea if I've actually expressed all of this in the exact way that I wanted, to, wanted it to. But it's just a bit of a rant um, that YouTube, yeah, it's a game. You're working for the algorithm. You're having to do things and change things to get your video to be successful, to get the watch time, to get the clicks and all of that stuff. And people don't realize it. And uh, yeah, it's really not good for your mental health. I really uploaded the video yesterday. It went to number eight. I stared at it, looked at it at number eight and thought, what the fuck am I doing? I can't be asked to do YouTube anymore. And I'm not the only creator that feels like this. Trust me. Um, there's many people out there. It's just a side of YouTube that I absolutely hate. I am not a meticulous person that deep dives into my analytics to see when people have clicked on a video um, or clicked off a video, sorry, or have changed my thumbnails and titles because I just don't care about it. But obviously, look at me now, I do care. Um, and it's only because more clicks, more money, but I'm not driven by money. But then it's constant comparisons, um, looking at other people's YouTube videos and channels, thinking, why are they getting more clicks? Oh, I need to change my video to do this, my title to say a certain drama word. Ah, drives me mad. Anyway, that's the rant over. I've decided I'm going to upload this. So uh, just real life of um, being on social media for a living and how mentally straining and negative it can be. Anyway, have a lovely day in the heat. Ciao, ciao.